Well, I'm very pleased that the first two on stage, uh, we are women. So that means that something ha is changing slowly in this world. Uh, I am very grateful to organizers to invite me to speak and to address you this morning. I am not a very knowledgeable person in the area that you cover. However, uh, let me say that I believe that we diplomats and you, uh, from the technological po uh, point of uh, view, we have, at the end of the day, the same mission. Diplomats and I, as ambassador, I have a mission to build uh, relations with India and other countries on the level government to government, on business to business, and, and of course, people to people. Your mission is to use machine-to-machine -machine knowledge to connect the people. So we have basically the same mission. Uh, of course, I have to speak about my country. This you would understand. Uh, my country is a compact country, compact in its development and compact in its size. We are just in the heart of Europe. We are two million people, but we are the members of the European Union, members of NATO, and we are a highly developed country. Uh, let me just tell you that our GDP per capita is around $29,000. Uh, so this shows you uh, that uh, we are somewhere in the middle of the uh, developed uh, uh, European Union countries, and also somewhere in the middle of OECD countries that we are also a member. But what is more important is uh, that Slovenia has a long tradition of uh, in, uh, industrial knowledge and techno uh, technical knowledge. We've been industrialized as early as Austria and Germany because we were a part of that uh, world. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> since uh, we have built on our technology and uh, knowledge uh, throughout the, the centuries. Just for your uh, for the illustration, let me tell you that Bloomberg ranks us on the 25th place among the world innovative nations. So two billion people, we managed to, last year we were much better, we were 19. This year we, we dropped for, for six places. But still, uh, so uh, this is a, a reflection of our, of our development. Uh, the strength that we have uh, is, of course, that we invest a lot in our knowledge. So uh, more than... Uh, 5.5, actually 5.66% uh, is um, invested in education in Slovenia. Uh, 2.7 uh, something is invested in R&D. So it means that we are building on the existing knowledge and of course investing into the future. Our strength uh, in area of technology is automotive cluster. Uh, in automotive cluster, we have managed uh, to launch uh, um, knowledge that is used in the best of cars of today. For example, Tesla car, which is the best of the best. The latest, latest edition has a, a device uh, that is a, a, a radar, radar control uh, that is produced in Slovenia. And... Uh, uh, innovated in Slovenia. It's a part of Slovenian knowledge. Uh, I would not go to the BMW, Mercedes, and uh, others that all use our, uh, our knowledge uh, into, uh, into uh, uh, their um, car building. Uh, the second area that is also very important uh, for our development is pharmaceutical, uh, pharmaceutical area. And uh, you know very well that uh, all biotech uh, is today one of the most important areas of, uh, of today's development, sustainable development, but also uh, friendly develop development for the people. Uh, our strength is also that we are positioned just in the heart of Europe. 
Although sometimes, because of our uh, advantage in science and technology, we might say that we are the brain of Central Europe, because in Central Europe, really, we are the most developed, uh, in the, from Poland to Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, down to Croatia, we are the most developed in that area. Uh, the, the geostrategic position uh, has advantages uh, with connections to India from the uh, point of view of transport. Uh, and that is also connectivity. And your, uh, uh, the connectivity is, of course, important on Internet, but also other connectivity is important. So our port of Copper, Capodistria, is the shortest way from the Indian Ocean to uh, Adriatic Sea. It's faster. 2,000 nautical miles, seven days faster. It's uh, cheaper, half a million dollars per, per uh, average commercial uh, vessel, cheaper. And what is the most important is uh, environment friendly. It's 1,000 kilograms of CO2 emissions less. So the synergies that we are trying to build with India actually are, lies on these two pillars. One is transport and connectivity, and the second is our knowledge. Slovenia has a knowledge that can be used for making India campaign. Why we are attractive? Because the big multinational companies, most probably you represent some of them, they come, they bring everything, they produce. And in the moment that you are not competitive, they leave. We know that. The advantage, the added value of Slovenian technology is that we are as good as uh, technologies that are brought by uh, multinational companies, but we are more flexible. We are ready to work with your knowledge, with Indian knowledge, in order to make products uh, that are tailor-made for India, adapted for India, but also for the world market. Uh, let me say just a few words uh, how I see the, um, the world that you are trying to deal with. Uh, diplomats have been engaged through centuries uh, in making peace and trying to bring people together after wars, after different revolutions. And unfortunately, all those revolutions that we have seen from the French Revolution on have brought uh, a lot of human uh, sacrifice. Not just uh, sacrifice, but a lot of human victims. The only revolution they did not uh, ask, or let's say, did not uh, uh, demand human victims, the sacrifice of human life. It's the industrial, the technological revolution. And you are a part of this revolution. So this is the revolution that is designed by people and for people. And where this is the connectivity between the revolution that you are bringing for people and as diplomats is that, of course, we try to preach and to connect people on the basis of values, the values of human rights, the values of democracy, the values of human dignity, the values of, of rule of law. So when you, as people, as part of this technological and this uh, uh, high-tech revolution, uh, you're going to take in consideration these values. I'm sure that you are going to make this world much better connected, that you are going to, to make uh, this world much better. And at the end, let me conclude that the, the best of the best of technologies uh, is used in the space technology. You would say, what Slovenia has in space technology? We have a little bit. Uh, but what we have in common with India, it's a person. A person that makes all the change. And this person is Mrs. Sunita Williams. She was born to a Slovenian mother 
and Indian father. So the space is the limit. Thank you.